Good morning. I'm your host, Lainey Talley. <laughs> and I'm Kumari Faison. And, and this, this is, is Around Cape Fear in 5 Minutes. minutes. Conservation Poster Contest is underway. Please see Ms. Bullard or Ms. Harding for more information and the materials for this contest. You do not have to be an art to take part in this competition. There are cash prizes for first, second, and third places. Posters are due back by November 1st. Holiday Car Competition is underway in Cumberland County. Please see Ms. Bullard or Ms. Harding for more information. Cape Fear DECA will hold their monthly meeting this coming Thursday, November 2nd, right after school at 345 until 445 in Ms. Cox's room, 226 on Green Hallway. All members are asked to attend. We will put the final touches on the induction ceremony and talk about sign-ups for district competition. The deadline to sign up for districts is Friday, November 3rd. Hope to see you there. The International Club is sponsoring a book and school, school supply drive for students in St. Anne, Jamaica, October 16th through November 10th. Please bring your unwanted textbooks, written books, and any, any subject in grade level or any school supplies and place them in the marked bins in the front of the main office or media center. You also can bring donations to Ms. Kennedy and Room 106. Thank you. Now here's Jack and Taylor for Coach Sports Day. Thanks, guys. Good morning, Coach Nation. I'm your host, King Taylor. And I'm Javier Alicea. And this, this is, is Coach Sports, Sports Daily, Daily featuring... Colt on the clock. And Jave. Volleyball season sadly came to an end Saturday as the girls lost in the fourth round of the state playoffs in five sets to Carborough. The girls finished the season with a 27-2 record, a conference title, and a conference tournament title to add to their resume. Coach Kelly Melvin was named Coach of the Year for the conference. Brooke the Bomb Bomb Patepe. Olivia, 11 is heaven, but she raising. And somebody get me a check because I'm pay Tim Gunter were first team all conference selections. Ileana, Illy J, you better make him pay. Larkin, Barkin, <laughs> Baxley, Lily, ooh, make him burn, Rayburn, and Tabitha, put it on her tab, Newland, were second team all conference selections. No need to hang your heads, ladies. Colt Nation is very proud of you. Football finished the regular season with a dominant 48 to 14 win over Grace Creek Friday night. The team finished with an 8-2 record and will now take on Western Alamance at home Friday night in the first round of the state playoffs. Game time is 7 p.m. See you there. Soccer will host a home playoff match tonight against East Wake High School. Game time is also 7 p.m. Come out and support the boys as they look to make a playoff run. Golfers Kate Wilson, Gracie Horn, and Abby Bullard will be competing in the state championship today and tomorrow at Foxfire Country Club. Good luck, ladies. Keep the scores low. Cross Country competed in the regional race on Saturday. Both the boys and girls team ran hard and finished the season strong. Congratulations on a solid season, runners. Well, that does it for Colt Sports Daily. I'm Javier Alicea. And I am King Taylor. And this, this has been, been Colt Sports, Sports Daily. Daily. Back to you guys. To you guys. Thanks, guys. Now on with the announcements. Girls basketball trials will be October 30th and 31st at 6 p.m to 7.30 p.m. in the main gym. To try out, you must have all forms signed and physical uploaded to final forms. Make sure basketball is, ta what? is tagged as a sport of interest. <laughs> if you have any questions, see Coach Graham. Varsity and JV boys basketball trials will be held Monday and Tuesday from 4 to 5.15. Check-in will be in the main gym. JV will move to the Ox gym after check-in. All participants must be cleared in final forms. No exceptions. There will be a second tryout for fall athletes currently in season after the conclusion of their last postseason contest. If you have any questions, please contact Rico Mitchell. Now here's Dan, Dan the man and his assistant Michaela for the weather. Welcome back to the weather. Today on this Monday, it is 67 degrees and sunny. It's a high of 86 and a low of 55 degrees. That's it for the weather this day. Y'all have a good one. Thanks, weather crew. Today is conducting a canned food drive. There are boxes placed between Mr. Casey's and Miss North, 
and Miss Norton's room, and other by Miss Wilco Miss Wilcox's room. Please bring candy <laughs> and all perishable food items that are not expired. Help, to help donate families for the holidays. Cape Fear Deca is holding their annual induction ceremony for all members this Thursday, November 2nd, in the cafeteria from 5 to 7 p.m. All members are invited along with their parents, but you must RSVP through the link that was emailed or the link in the deck of Canvas Shell. The deadline to RSVP is Wednesday, November 1st by 4 p.m. We look forward to meeting your parents and sharing what DECA has to offer. FF FFA will begin our fall fundraiser selling meat sticks. Come by Mr. Metz's room to pick up your order form and sticks. You can pick up your sticks anytime before October 30th. We have the meats. And that does it for the announcements. Arby's. This has been Real K Fear. <laughs> this has been Real K Fear. <laughs> I'm Kamari Face. And I'm Lenny Talley. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, Coach. Remember, Coke Pride is shown by doing the right thing in and out of the classroom. Next I make it a great day, Coach.